looking back there, Steve McManaman, I think he's an exciting talent. But I suppose in two or three years' time, when he's got a bit more experience, Brian, he would have took that one more step on and hit it. Well, this is how Bishop got himself injured. Smacked to the ground there. and uh, Needs a little bit of treatment. Let's we can just have a look at, uh, at Mike's... It's a West Ham throw. Tim Breaker, formerly with Luton, with it. Here's Bishop. Keane, Bishop. Nice play here. Harris. Now McAvenny! Great save by Grobola. A terrific bit of football all round. A lovely move by West Ham. And a close-range header by Frank McAvenny that was saved superbly by Bruce Grobola. Well, it's just a tremendous save. You get the feeling if he headed it down, he wouldn't have had a chance. But Bruce Grobola has had his critics over the years, but he's having a fantastic season for Liverpool this year. Bishop. Harris. A long ball forward. Small is onside. He's gone past Nickel. Small. Another great save by Grobola. And right outside his box. Walters getting it away. And the. Keen getting uh, giving that one away, Mark Walters, and pushed away well by Nikosko. But again, a little crisis there, entirely of West Ham's making. Kevin Keen, Arrows. Through the legs of Keen, finds Walters. Walters to McManaman. Now picking out Mike Marsh. Goal kick. Marsh quick to link up. Yes. Well, it feels like a blind date, actually, because I don't know half the players that are playing out there today. You haven't always supported Liverpool, though, have you? Um, well, no, th that's a bit unfair. I was brought up an Evertonian because my father was an Evertonian. But when I met Bobby, my husband, you know, he converted me. So what do you think of the game now? Well, it was heart attack time, the first... 10 minutes of the match. God bless Bruce Grobler. I mean, he's played, he's the man of the match for me today. I think it's a bit even Stevens now. Uh, but Bobby tells me, my husband, that we're going to beat them well and truly 2 0. Do you always believe what your husband says? I have to, because he'll batter my nose down to a blackhead if I don't. Smashing. Thanks a lot, Silla. Thank you. Up the ball. Well, she certainly do as a co commentator for me. Sorry, Ken. Uh, Brian Moore back here with Kevin Keegan. Looking forward now to the start of the second half. It's nil-nil. Ronnie Rosenthal in the uh, second row. And now West Ham, Breaker. A terrific move by the right back. And the ball played in for McAvenny. Superbly cut out, though, by Grobola. Classic goalkeeping again, Brian. Both goalkeepers of, of, of any kid watching who wants to be a goalkeeper, watch the display of these two today. And now Walters, a great chance now for Liverpool, and a terrific bit of defending by Steve Potts. That looked a racing certainty that at least Walters would get his shot in, but Potts was so quick and as a goal is draw. Let's talk now to the Liverpool manager with Gary Newborn. It was a tremendous game that, Graham. How do you see it? Do you see it as a, a satisfying point, or should you want it? Yeah, I think so. I thought it was a good game. I think if people at home were sitting watching that game, they saw the best of the first division. I thought it was exciting. There was chances at both ends. Some good football played. It was played in a good spirit. I'm sure that made good entertainment today, and we've got to be happy with that point today. I know, I know you're doing a rebuilding job there. I mean, it's a bit of a gap now, 12 points behind the leaders. How, how yeah. do you see the situation? It's not Christmas yet. Oh. It's true. There's a long way to go. A lot of points to play for. Now, the man of the match is going to join us now. Perhaps you'd like to present him with the man of the match award, Graham? Well done. He deserves it. He deserves it. He's done very well today. Well, well done. Except thank you. One incident. Yes, yes. <laughs> Graham, well thank you very much. Well done, Bruce. One or two hairy moments. Well done, though. Well, that's uh, the old cliche, eh? Here goes Bruce again. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's nice to you come away with something like that. Never had it in my life, so this is always the first time. Well done. It's great save as well. Well done. Thank you very much. All the best. All the fans, too. Life's just a cabaret. We've had uh, everything but goals here at Epton Park this afternoon, and we've got plenty of those right after the break.
Welcome back. No goals here at Upton Park this afternoon, but the sort of game we have come to expect at West Ham uh, down the years. Uh, Bobby agrees that West Ham had the majority of the, of the chances, but you reckon Liverpool had the best one of all? Yeah, I thought the McNamman chance uh, midway through the second half was probably the best chance of the game. I mean, a good build-up here by Liverpool. I mean, Rushy does well, and they get the ball out wide to um, Burrows, and he knocks it across him. But that I mean, that's the snapshot the we're talking about yeah. there, which wasn't the one we, we were re referring to. But uh, I like the look of the boy McManaman. Man. I mean, he shows a lot of confidence when he's holding the ball. But I mean, West Ham are always dangerous on the break. Yes, here's the man of the match on Safari. Yeah, Bruce. I mean, this is typical Bruce Grobler, really. I mean, he's had a great game today, and uh, you can't dispute Kevin making him man of the match. I mean, he's got so much personality, and it was one of those games where he knew he was in control of his game and was really enjoying it, wasn't he? That's the great thing about Bruce, isn't it? As Kevin said, it is heart-stopping best one minute, and then, then he does something like this. Yeah, but and again, another great save. He made those couple of very, very important saves early on, and then uh, for a long period of time, Liverpool had control of the game, but then suddenly uh, he gets a great opportunity to make another uh, save, and it just showed us how good he is again. So he, he had a great game for Liverpool, and I think uh, West Ham will probably feel a little bit unfortunate they didn't win the game because they've had some great chances, but then the game was so good and so finely balanced, I think it would have been a little bit um, unreasonable for us.